So we are just outside Sedona in Arizona. Sorry, hold on a second. Hey guys, can I have like two seconds of quiet? All right, ready. Okay, so we are just outside Sedona, Arizona. Absolutely. Hold on one second. Hey guys. Right, so this is our modern classics, future classics episode. We're just outside Sedona, Arizona is absolutely beautiful. And this is my car, 2004 E46 BMW 330Ci. Um, I love these things. Is the aircon work? That's what I get. Yeah, the only one with aircon, yeah. They seem to have the nicest looking one. Yeah. Again. Yeah. Right. <laughs> what do you guys do with the cars after the show's over? Crush your butt. You get makeup. Okay, day one, uh, future classics. So the boys are starting off here in this gorgeous, uh, gorgeous canyon in Stone, Arizona, and have the task of driving uh, across Arizona into California. But knowing the boys, uh, chances are mayhem is going to ensue. Can you uh, tell me who you are, what you do, and what that position means, and what does it usually entail on a regular set? Chubbs, get this officer out of the way real quick. Yeah, for sure. All right, whenever you're ready. All right. I'm Scott. I'm the coordinator producer here on Top Gear America. And my job is to make sure everyone's in the right place at the right time so we can uh, get the shots we need to get. One interesting aspect is that there's a leather bag, or maybe it's rubber, and it's uh, sliced. So hot trans air is just billowing out of the bag into the cabin. We just did a big move to uh, Cottonwood Airport where we're going to do a zero to 100 challenge with the guys. I think I sleep on razor blades. <laughs> no, my money's on the Fox body. Sounds of freedom. You were literally, as it was starting up, just your instinct was to pull the camera away. I was giving you gold. And your instinct was to go, ah, oh, so, <laughs> top gear. All right, so we are uh, currently setting up for uh, the first um, post-driven challenge. Zero to 100. Where do you think takes it? I mean, with the, with the V8 and the 5.0, I think Dax really stands a hell of a chance. Uh, I have a feeling Dax is going to probably come off the line a little Let's quicker. See, worst cast member, who is it? Uh, I mean, I got to say Dax. I, I, I think so. That, that's exactly what I was saying. Actually, I was. Uh, 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 my money's on you for uh, this. Uh, that, that's actually what I was saying. Three, two, one, go! <laughs> the unexpected, as always. Rob uh, apparently couldn't find fifth gear. Um, beyond that, uh, he couldn't get past 55 miles per hour. Shoot. I don't know if this car's making it back to California. Rob, did you not hear the countdown? <laughs> it's a good thing I'm not competitive. I would cry every day after this show. Today is all about driving. Today is the road trip of the, uh, of the shoot. Cars seem to be holding up okay, but after a zero to 100, uh, drag race that the guys did yesterday. Um, you know, uh, who knows? We'll kind of see how these cars are gonna hold up. Yeah, has your car rolled into your lodging? <laughs> what happened? <laughs> Drone hit the trees. Happens all the time. That's why they got the plastic things all around them. They go right back in the air. It's not happen all the time. Happens all the time. Never. Happens Ever. all the time. It ain't easy to make a TV. Takes a minute. What a nightmare. I'm surprised if any of us make it into California, to be honest with you. OK, you Great. know, the issues going on right now. OK, I'm uh, going to need a $100 bill. <laughs> you need a $100 bill? Yeah. For what? I don't know. Just seeing if I could get a hundred dollar bill. <laughs> <laughs> it didn't work. Jamie. It didn't work. <laughs> so the cameras, we're gonna uh, pull over. So I think this is uh, this is well on its way to be uh, a very interesting real world world moment that we're having here. Rob's vehicle is totally the bed. Jethro seems to be holding it together, but we'll see because there's still a couple hundred more, more miles that we have to do. And Dax back there, on the other hand, he is just holding tough on his Mustang. So America is rising to the top right now, and Europe is totally 
in the bed. I mean, hanging your head out the, the pedals window. are hot enough as it is. I mean, whatever. Uh, yeah, I'll thing, try. You know? I'll try and World, do something. The sob is your oyster, Rob. I'll try and milk something. <laughs> this is a hundred percent what my prediction was for that sob. <laughs> oh, the poor sob. I see civilization. So coming down the hill, there's a lot of uh, gas fumes coming out of Rob's car. So we're going to uh, pull him out of his car and have him ride the rest of the way in uh, Jethro's BMW. Hope the other car makes it. No, I'm done with this piece of I don't feel good. All right, let's try. I have my pants down. That's what you cut out. Okay. I do apologize for that. Back in the saddle, boys. All right, we're back in business. All right, so we made it to Chuckwalla Raceway finally. Uh, two great days on the road, and this is the time when we put the cars on the track. I keep thinking about the two or three people at this airport that were excited Top Gear was coming to film here, of what cars they might see. <laughs> A grand total of $18,000 for the cars. So we're getting our cameras all set up right now. We're getting set up for the arrival. Um, uh, there is indeed a mechanic that is actually over there at uh, uh, Bay 23. The uh, mechanic did find that there was an issue with the turbo, so we got the turbo working. So our hope is that Rob is going to find fifth gear and find his turbo and actually have a pretty good, uh, solid, you know, head-to-head -head race with the guys. I didn't even know my turbo wasn't working, but uh, so yeah, I guess it's going to be like driving a totally different <laughs> box. So, oh, hold on, we got that. So it's race time. It is a little known fact that these cars are 100% falling apart. Um, I think it's gonna be a miracle if Rob actually makes it around the track. I was bullied into this in three, two, one, go. That's okay. <laughs> oh my God. Well, Rob's already out. Yeah. There's got to be something else wrong with the car, because that's not supposed to happen, right? It only happens to you. <laughs> I mean, live for today is a good theme yeah, to land on. Like, forget 100%. future value. No, I love that, but I think you should say that. Forget yeah. future value. In a time of corona. And... It's about as much as these cars are worth at this point is getting them on a trailer and getting them out of here. OK, guys, come on back. That was it. Great job. Great day. Great day, everybody. That's a wrap. It's been a crazy three days to get this episode done. I uh, had a safe day here at the track, which is always a concern, so I'm glad we got that done. And the, uh, the whole camera team, absolutely amazing, as they always are. The production staff make me look good. Scott, our coordinating producer, keeping us on track getting us here, moving us state to state, safely and on time. The thing that I love about Scott is that he's just like the Energizer Bunny. He never, ever, ever stops. He just never stops. And I always wondered why, and I never really figured it out until, honestly, today. I mean, the guy never is without a Diet Coke in his hand. Diet Coke is all I drink. He's never without that, and I'm just convinced that's his sort of um, superpower, Diet Coke. And uh, I'm so glad that uh, we're going to get home tonight. Everything's going to be great and a great episode. <laughs>